from the Wichita Eagle from the year 1989. Who Knows Bowling, WSU Sophomore Barnes Does is the title. And the article goes, Barnes Knows Basketball, Barnes Knows Golf, Barnes Knows Bowling. Chris Barnes, a Wichita State sophomore with Bo Jackson versatility and a 3.0 grade point average, even knows diddly. Pool? Please, Barnes said, sounding rather sluggish Friday morning from his Reno, Nevada hotel room. I just won the table last night. Should the 19-year-old Topeka native have defeated a trio of top professional bowlers in Reno late Friday night, he'll also know wealth. In addition to a $2,000 pool table and $11,000 in cash already pocketed in qualifying rounds, Barnes stood to win $100,000 more Friday in the finals of the Brunswick shoot for the Stars shootout. A tape delay of the event will be aired nationally at 3 p.m. today on NBC's Sports World, KSNW Channel 3. He's a great all-around athlete, said WSU bowling coach Gordon Fadakin, who out-recruited a couple of Kansas college basketball coaches to get Barnes. Barnes, the basketball player, averaged 12 points and a half dozen assists per game as the starting point guard two years ago for Topeka High School. Southwestern College offered him a basketball scholarship and Emporia State asked him to walk on. Barnes, the golfer, played on his high school team, then won $7,000 in the National Putt-Putt Championships in Augusta, Georgia. Barnes, the bowler, has nine 300 games and two 800 series to his credit. He bowls on Wichita State's A-team and recently averaged 242 over 11 games in a national college tournament. I just decided career-wise I had no opportunity to go anywhere with basketball, he said. There's not much demand in the NBA for six-foot guys like myself. Hopefully at one time I'll have an opportunity to, to go out on the Professional Bowlers Association tour. Wichita State gives me the best opportunity to do that. Barnes qualified for the shootout first by winning on the local level, then in regional competition, and finally in a roll-off Thursday night in Reno. In the finals, he'll be matched against three of the most prominent professional names in the sport, Marshall Holman, Mark Roth, and Lisa Wagner. The tournament's format requires players to make strikes to win money. For instance, the first frame is worth $1,000. If only one of the four bowlers strikes, that person wins $1,000 and the game continues to the second frame, which is worth even more. If two or more bowlers strike in a particular frame, the money is carried over to the next frame. The tenth frame is worth $50,000 plus whatever money is carried over from past frames. The real thrill is just to win, Barnes said. The money is just numbers right now.